So, hi. I'm Eran Brieman, Vice President of Marketing and Business Development for Webit Nano, a leading provider of RERAM IP. Resistive RAM is a fast emerging semiconductor memory technology that is being adopted in automotive, edge AI, MCUs, and many other applications. It is significantly more energy efficient than flash memory. It provides much better performance and faster access time. RERAM is a lower cost and less complex to integrate than other memory technologies, and it can, can scale below 28 nanometers, which flash cannot. I'm going to show you here the latest Webit RERAM demonstration. This 8 megabit memory module was implemented on Global Foundry's 22FDX base wafers. This is the most advanced process we've demonstrated so far, and also our largest memory module capacity. In the demo, I'll highlight a few of the many advantages of Webit Free. So, let me uh, run this uh, demo for you and show you all these uh, features that we uh, talked about. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take a snapshot of that video in here. So, here we go. And then, let's try to store this image onto our uh, non-volatile memory, uh, this uh, uh, rerun uh, uh, module that we have here. What you're, go what you're going to see is that uh, this uh, uh, array here showing the transfer time per each block, you know, this is divided into uh, 50 uh, uh, blocks, is completely red. And that is because uh, all this uh, uh, information here is completely new and has to be stored into uh, memory. That's for the first time. Uh, you also see here the amount of energy that's required in order to write uh, this information onto our memory uh, module, uh, less than 70 millijoules uh, in order to write this 8 megabit uh, image, and that is uh, about 40x better than if it was a typical uh, flash device. Now I'm going to try and store the same image without making any modifications to the image itself, and what you're going to see is all these transfer times per block turns completely green, and the reason is we check the information in our RERA module and whatever does not be, need to be restored or stored again, uh, we, we just don't touch it. And that means, you know, significant reduction in terms of transfer time, but also a significant uh, reduction in terms of energy, right energy, less than five millijoules. And just to remind you, it was uh, 67 millijoules when we had to uh, store the entire uh, image. Um, then well, what I want to do is add, maybe add um, the clock here onto the image and then try to store again the same image, only this time it has this clock uh, on top of it. So if we run a store of this new image onto our memory, you'll see exactly how only these specific blocks uh, that uh, correspond to this uh, uh, clock here, only they turned a little bit lighter green, which means this is the only part that we had to store again uh, into memory. The rest just stays, stays the same. And that's uh, a significant uh, advantage that is enabled by our byte addressability feature uh, that uh, RERAM has. Um, maybe the last thing uh, I will try to do, you know, let's uh, remove this, um, uh, this one and uh, maybe add a couple of, uh, all right, and then let's try to get the image, the previous image that was uh, in the memory. So we're reading now from our memory. You see, this was the image that was kept uh, in memory. You also see the energy consumed when I get, when I read uh, the data from RERAM, uh, less than seven uh, microjoules compared to, you know, a typical, uh, embedded flash would be in the range of almost uh, one millijoule, and that's 100x, more than 100x better than uh, what you'll get with, uh, with resistive drum. So that actually concludes this uh, demonstration. Thank you very much for being with us. Bye-bye.